all right welcome back to my channel i have a lawrence hook reveal um uh, nine and the screen is cracked so you know this is a 900 hundred dollar uh unit um 450 the manufacturer won't charge me 450 uh to take in the unit and to check it out and if it's something easy to replace they're gonna charge me 200 dollars uh, but up front they want you to pay 450 so uh, i took this unit apart before and basically that front screen is is uh is just a glass so what i'm gonna do is try to uh, uh take the glass out and see if i can replace the glass itself and I know that'll save me a, a, a ton of money. It's, it's, it's nothing special inside of these units. Um, it's, it's real simple, really, really simple. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'll flip it over here. And you got these little, small little star bolts that's in there. You gotta take them out all the way around. So give me a second, let me get these bolts out of here and I'm gonna show you what's in this. Okay, after you get the back off, the hook reveal nine, a couple of things that you want to end up taking off. Okay, see like this, um, this connector here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up. Disconnect that. There's one here. Uh, you wanna, on the back side here, you're gonna flip that up. Disconnect that. And you're gonna have another one here. The back side of it, you're gonna flip it up, pull pull this connection off. Right here, look this little black thing up right here. You're gonna pull this connection off also. Pull this little wire out also. You get that. So and then you're gonna have these little clips that's holding the motherboard on. So you're gonna you wanna you want to pry the little clips back. I'm going to pry those back and pull up at the same time. And then, and this little wire you're going to take out. Just wrap it around. And then you have your motherboard. So, placing everything in the box. thing will come out this, this right here and just set that all to the side and you want to have these little you want to have one here you're going to have one over here so one right there you take them out and then that's what's holding down the screen let's get those out all right so now you know you can also take this out also this, this little piece right here this is for the this is for the Navionis chip and we're gonna go ahead and place this piece into the box now this screen here it is silicone all the way around and also it's silicone in the front here so you're gonna have to get that silicone get that silicone apart okay what I'm doing I'm using a heat gun and there's there's glue in between the, the two glasses and it's like a, a adhesive so i'm heating that adhesive up and as you can see right here this is a a screen that i got inside of there to break the two glasses apart from the adhesive so when you're putting this back together you want to need to put um a type of adhesive that like they use for cell phones when they're repairing the screen when you put those when you put that back together so that's what i'm trying to do give me a moment and i'm trying to uh, uh keep this this front glass up and take a loose that um 
uh, 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 break loose that adhesive. Let me see. So that's what I'm doing here. It's taking my time and working, working the two screens apart. Clean this up, and, and we're gonna have to replace. This is the one that we're gonna have to replace right here. So, gotta get this glass off. I measure it, and I'm gonna try to get another one cut to the exact same. Okay, this is where I'm at 
fixing my Lorenz quick reveal on mine. You know, I had broke the screen on here and and I had a uh, once you separate the, the, the screen from the glass, there's some glue that's that's um that's in between there that you have to scrape off. Um and you have to take your time and, and separate the screen when, when you're taking this thing apart. So I had a piece of glass cut and I went down to the glass shop. Man, they cut me a piece of glass. They didn't even charge me. They was just like, oh here man, they, they cut it right then and there. The dimension was eighth inch by um, eight and eight and five eighths and five and a quarter. So and when I put the glass in there, it fit kind of snug. They just had to sand it down a little bit. Um, and and I had got me some clamps. So, so when I when I sealed it back together, I had to clamp it down and make sure it was a tight seal. And I allow it at least at least 12 hours to, to get hard. You know, so so now the glue, the glue is pretty hard, so I don't have to worry about that coming off. It was it was coming out from the sides of uh, right up in here. And what I did was take a razor blade after it, it dried and and just and just uh cleaned it up real good. So now what I'm waiting on uh, from Amazon. It's the uh, glue that goes in between these, these, uh, the, the, the glass and the, uh, I think it's called an LCD. Um, so I'm gonna try to put that glue back in there. But hopefully this thing works because the glass that came out, I'm not for sure what kind of glass it was, but um, it was, um, it had like a little blue, blue look looking color to it. Let me see if I can find a piece. So, this was the glass that, that came out of there. If you can you you can see that little like bluish, purplish look on there. I'm not sure what kind of glass that is, but but you can see that glue that was on there from the LCD. So what I did was um um I had some adhesive remover and. I, I slowly took my time. I didn't use a razor blade. I slowly took my time and removed the uh, the glue from off there and cleaned it up real good. So, you know what I'm waiting on now is 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 the is the glue to come come in from Amazon, and I'm gonna glue this glue this. It's like a clear it's like a clear glue. So I'm gonna glue this screen back to there. And, and wait about 24 hours and then, uh, and then see if it works if it works hey, it saved me $450 uh, from the rents you know uh, I'm not going to too much talk about the uh, uh, talk about the warranty product but they don't have a too good of a warranty product you know you, they want you to send it back send it back to them and, and but you gotta pay the 450 up front if they can fix it they'll charge you a service fee of, of 250 and, you know if this glass works that glass didn't cost me nothing uh only thing that I bought was the silicone the, uh, the glue and the LCD glue and my time okay I'm back uh working on the Lorenz hook reveal I already got my, my uh, glass siliconed in, got my glass cleaned up real good all the way around. Um, and I got my LCD. I made sure it was cleaned up real good. Didn't have no uh, silicone or no glue uh, left over. Uh, used some rubbing alcohol to, to clean up the surfaces and uh, uh, some micro uh, uh, cloth to, to, to clean it up real good. So. Um, I'm gonna use this B7000 to uh, put it back together because this screen was glued to the original glass and it had like the, the, the sticky, you can see it had the, the sticky stuff that was in between the glass and the LCD. So I'm, uh, uh, so I'm gonna end up gluing that back together and 
once I'm finished you will see the product okay I got the screen back together it looks pretty good I got a couple of air bubbles in there you can hardly see them though um, but one thing that I did do is get that B7000 on the side here and whatever you do do not put a adhesive remover on there because it will it, that stuff is so strong it will mess the casing up so I made a big mistake uh, what I found out alcohol will rub it off it will take you a little time of uh, the uh, this alcohol right here so using the 91% rubbing alcohol and just take your time and, and, and it will come off so I got the back um, let you see the back um, I know I didn't do too good on here with that man that glue is, is something else if you never used it before that B7000 is, is just real messy I had a hard time getting all the bubbles out of there hey for the people that do these repairs if I got to do this again I would not do it again because yeah, I, or, or either you have to prep uh, really well I couldn't find no videos on on people using the stuff it was just real short clips uh, and and they didn't actually have footage of them using it uh, but I know now that if you do use it you better be well prepared to have a, a book a good mess on your hands um, and and next and and I can say if you are putting that e7 that e7000 on that b7000 on something in the screen like this pile it in the middle first uh, in the middle of the screen and 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 and, and let it spread itself out because one thing that I did do I just put the I just put the um, I put the stuff everywhere on the screen and when I got ready to lay the LCD on top of it it was it had air bubbles everywhere so best thing y'all can do is pile it up in the middle or or or, or get a better way or know a better way uh, or either watch a better way to a, a video to put it on but the way I did it was not the correct way I'm pretty sure it wasn't so but it ended up coming out pretty good you know I'm not worried about this I can easily I can easily repaint that or um, uh, take these the rents you know take this off and repaint it that's easy it ain't no big deal uh, but I'm gonna do now is uh, finish putting it back together and I'm gonna see if this thing comes on it's a try all right, this is about the best I could get it. So, uh, you know, I cleaned it up real good. It had some of that glue that I had got on the side, but hey, it looks real good. But you know what? I'm gonna go over here to the boat. We're gonna hook this thing up. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this thing up. You know, I feel like, I feel like that I did a, a real confident job on it. Uh, the, 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 the glass only cost me uh, zero dollars. You know, the glass place, they cut it in front of my face. I thought the glass had to be in a type of machine or something. No, they cut it with some type of pencil-like thing and, and they cut it less than, less than 15 seconds for the glass. So let me, uh, let me put the phone down and hook this thing up real quick and you'll see. it on look at that got two Lorances you know this is my old Lorance right here this is this is the hook four you know I mean hey that's old that's old old technology right there but I got the hook reveal uh, uh nine so the only time it takes a little bit to power on you know the hardest thing was getting that lcd glue back to that glass that was the most challenging and getting it apart was the most challenging so it's loading the charts you know i got a um um i got the navionics chip in there so look at that the chart has been loaded up you know everything is functional you know the battery voltage the um Everything is, is, is there. So let me go over to where, where someplace I'll be 
be launching that. Make sure it all is all working fine. And look at that. It's all it's all working fine. So I was real confident in the in doing in, in, in doing it. You know, the, like I said, if you're gonna end up uh, doing this, the most challenging thing is removing that LCD uh, screen off of there and gluing it back. I didn't. I I tried to look up videos to glue this thing back together, and I couldn't find no videos. It was only one guy seen uh, uh, talked about it, but he didn't show how he did it. And but when I glued it back together, I had bubbles all in the screen, and it was a nightmare trying to get all those bubbles out. But you know what, uh, hey, I, I end up getting most of the bubbles out. You can't really see it, but let me power it off. But I had a, uh, I don't even know where the bubble went to. It was it was a bubble right up in here somewhere. And, ah, shit. But it's no longer there, it looks like. But, hey, hey, uh, I know it was well worth it trying to fix this thing. Lorenz wanted to charge me. Four hundred and fifty dollars uh, deposit right off the rip. They wanted to charge my account, so and they told me it was going to be two fifty if they could fix it, and four fifty if they had to replace the screen. I mean, replace the whole unit, but they wanted the four fifty up front. So I was like, you know what? Um, this thing didn't cost me nothing but my time. Um, the, the, the guys going uh, that cut the glass, they was going to charge me ten dollars, but they gave it to me for free. And and the uh, the B7000 glue that I bought off of Amazon, that was it. So um, that's that's um that, that's what it all cost me. But yeah, check out my boat. This is my bass boat. I use this for, uh, to go in salt water. You know, my uncle literally gave me this boat. I did the uh, I replaced all the wood in it. Uh, redid a little construction. You know, this right here was a, a live well. I turned it into a storage, removing the live well. You know, uh, uh, put some new seats, but I put new flooring in. Uh, I redesigned this myself. Uh, uh, put new seats, new flooring over here. Um, I got another steering wheel that I, I need to uh, put on here. Um, uh, replace this back deck. You know, the 125 on the back of there. You know, um, it, it runs good. I can't. I can't complain about it. You know, uh, I end up buying me a new stainless prop. It's a 21 pitch prop on a force, 17 foot. I get right around 45 miles an hour in this boat. Um, uh, it's quite heavy because you know these bass boats. They, they, they are really silent. You uh, know, but yeah, I replaced all my. Uh, uh, that, that, that's my. Uh, that's the transducer for the. Uh, the big fish finder for the um for the Lorance hook hook, uh, hook reveal. That's the old uh Lorance is, is um uh, the hook for. Um and then also over here, you know, I made these storage compartments also. You know, down up in there there's some, there's there's one of my batteries. I got two batteries down there. Down there also got the uh, the live well pump. It's got the uh, also got a uh, 1100 minutes per Per gallon or uh, uh, bilge pump, there's some fiber stains. And right here is going to be my. Uh, this is this is my live wheel right here. So also got little music on the uh, on the boat with the uh, little speakers there. So yeah. So uh, man, this little boat was like it was a it was a gift. My uncle gave it to me. He was going to junk it. You know the motor needed a little work out, change the. Uh, not knowing, I took a little plug out. And the, the whole unit fell apart in the bottom end, so I had to rebuild the whole unit on here. Uh, replaced all the seals in the lower unit. Ended up changing the water pump in there. Uh, what else I did to this motor? Uh, changed, end up changing the fuel pumps on it. And the original motor that I had on there, I, uh, my, um, for some reason, I think the, uh, they were selling us some bad gas at one point, and my motor ended up having holes in my pistons when I took it apart and I noticed that my pickup I was pulling my boat with it was also detonating at the same time that my boat motor had went out so something was going on 
uh, with with uh, with the gas detonation. They wouldn't sell us good gas or something because now my truck got good grade of gas and it's not doing that detonation no more. Uh, but during that time, uh, the the the, uh, the the power head had it was gone. It lost compression in one of the uh, cylinders. I ended up putting another motor on here. Uh, so yeah, that's that's not the that's not the uh, original power head that's in there, but it's the another motor. It's also a 125 motor. Um, it's just it's just from a uh, from another boat. So I just took the power head out of there and, and replaced it with another power head. Uh, but other than that, man, this boat was given to me. Didn't pay no money uh, on the boat, and you know everything has been working out real good for me. So that's why I'm at on the boat. So. The, uh, again, the, the, this was a success. So if y'all guys want to try to tackle, um, try to tackle fixing your Lowrance, uh, it's going to take you a little time. It's tedious work. Do not get into a rush because if you get into a rush, more than likely you're going to break something or break the motherboard or, or, or break the LCD screen. See, the LCD screen, when you have to take it out, you have to use like a wire to remove it from the glass and that was the most challenging part that i did on here but you know what i ended up getting it but uh but yeah thanks for watching like share or subscribe